Hi there, Danny here from Tradeify. In this video, I'll guide you through how to use email templates in Tradeify. Using email templates is a great way to save time and boost your professionalism when communicating with clients. Whether it's creating an email template that includes your Google review link or a template that gently reminds customers about an unpaid invoice. Setting up this feature will cut down your admin time even further. Let's get started. First, navigate to the Settings tab on the left-hand side of the screen. From here, click on Email. This is where you can create, edit, and manage your email templates. Tradeify provides several preloaded email templates on your account ready for use. These can be accessed when emailing an invoice, quote, and purchase order, among other features within the system. You're welcome to edit these to your preference by clicking on the relevant email template name. If you'd like to create a custom email template, simply click on the New Email Template button. This will open the Template Editor. Start by giving your template a name. This will help you identify the template later when you want to use it. For this example, I'll call mine Invoice Reminder Payment Overdue. Next, enter the subject of your email. The subject line is what your clients see when they receive your email. You'll also have fields for CC or BCC email addresses as part of the template. Any email addresses entered here will be pre-populated onto any emails created from this template. For example, let's say you have a client who wants email communications to go to several people within their organization. You can set up specific email templates that you use for that client that includes all of the required contacts within the CC or BCC fields. This saves you from manually typing them in every time that you need to send an email. Finally, enter the text to go within the body of your email. You can format this text to match your brand's style. Use the formatting options to bold important information, add bullet points, or include links. This will ensure that your emails are professional and easy to read. Tradeify also offers the ability to personalize your templates using variables. To see the variables available, click on Template Variables. For example, you might want to insert the customer's name, the job address, or like in this example, the due date and total due. Once you're happy with your template, confirm your edits by clicking Save. Your new template will now appear within the list of email templates. Note, it's a good idea to test your template before using it. Send a test email to yourself or a colleague to confirm that everything looks good. To edit an existing template, simply click on the template name in the list. This will open the template editor where you can make your changes. Don't forget to save your changes when you're done. If you need to delete a template, click on the X icon next to the template name. Confirm you're happy to delete and the template will be removed from your list. Now that you've created your template, let's see how to use them. Since the email template I've created is for overdue payments, let's head to my overdue invoice and send an email to the customer. Here, you can select your newly added template from the drop-down menu. This will automatically populate the email with the subject and body from your template. You'll still have the option to make changes to the email before sending if needed. Finally, you can view the activity log to keep track of your email activity for things like jobs, quotes, invoices, and even forms and certificates. Scroll down to the activity log section at the bottom of the page. You'll be able to see emails that you've sent, whether they were delivered, and even if they were opened. And that's all there is to it. Save time and keep customer communications consistent with email templates in Tradeify. If you have any questions, visit our Help Center, give us a shout, or check out our other videos. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you soon.